paid $500 each for one-way tickets on a luxury train called the Hiram Bingham that takes 42 passengers through the Sacred Valley, Peru for a three and a half hour train ride of a lifetime. The train is an expensive option that takes you most of the way to Machu Picchu. The outbound journey on the Belmont here in Bingham service offers tea time at the Belmont Sanctuary Lodge Hotel, a return bus to Machu Picchu town, a VIP lounge to Machu Picchu station, gourmet dinner on board, a live music show, and a bar cart with the best Peruvian cocktails. Let's start from the beginning of our journey. We had our hotel call a cab for us from Cusco. The taxi dropped us off at the Peroy train station, which was a 30-minute drive from the historic center of Cusco. Inca Rail's first-class ticket will pick you up from downtown Cusco, but here in Bingham's Peroy station is a little further outside the historic center of Cusco. Here we are on the train, uh, headed to Machu Picchu, and um, our experience coming in to the actual train station was amazing. They actually picked up our luggage, provided us with a drink, and... The um, employees of here at Bingham Train Service came dressed to the nines um, in their khaki suits and immediately took our luggage, sat us down, served us this mimosa type drink that they explained in Spanish. They sprayed some sort of perfume mist on top of the glasses and explained that it was all local ingredients and um, the significance. I was so excited that I didn't catch it all, but um, we're about to take our luxury three and a half hour train ride to Machu Picchu. Cheers. Relax. They give us the explanation of how they're going to go through the process, taking our luggage, scheduling with our hotel, making sure our hotel receives our luggage, and um, making sure that our times are, are, you know, getting into Machu Picchu because uh, obviously we're going to be hiking and we have a certain scheduled time that we can actually be in Machu Picchu. So that's important that you schedule that properly. So um, our train comes with guides and also comes with Machu Picchu tickets. So um, that was one mistake that we purchased uh, Machu Picchu tickets. But we didn't have to because we purchased tickets on the train and the train provides us with tickets into Machu Picchu as well. So in the future, if you decide to come to Peru and go to Machu Picchu and use Hiram Thingam, uh, you do not have to purchase tickets to Machu Picchu because they'll come with the purchase of your train. So yeah, so far it's been amazing. Looking forward to this three and a half hour journey. <laughs> These are some of the incredible views along the way. During your journey, an announcer comes on the intercom and acts as a sort of guide, explaining what you are looking at. Bien, muy buenos días, damas y caballeros, ¿cómo estamos? Ah, uh, talking about animals by this area, so then the variety of biodiversity that we have by the area. We have different type of plants, trees, flowers. Among beautiful flowers that we have by the area are going to be the orchids. Yeah, there are more than three. You get the idea. Before lunch was served, a sort of music party occurs in the balcony car. By the way, unlimited drinks the entire time are included in the ticket price.
have to talk about the five-course meal included in the ticket price. It starts with a sort of appetizer dessert, moves on to a smorgasbord of artisanal breads, then fruit, then a traditional dish for the main course, and then a sherbet-like dessert. After disembarking in Aguas Calientes, we are taken to a luxurious waiting room at the Belmont Hotel while the Here in Bingham employees sort out our guide, bus trip to Machu Picchu, and send our luggage to our hotel. The bus is included in nicer than the standard buses, but unfortunately we don't have any footage of the bus. After the bus ride, we go with our guide to wait in line for our time slot to enter the park. Because we accidentally bought separate tickets, here in Bingham had to provide us with a separate private guide. Let me explain. We're waiting in line to go to Machu Picchu, and we just got off the here in Bingham train, and they provide their own their own tour bus um, up to the front gate, and um, they dropped us off at the Belmont Hotel, where tea time will be today at 4:45, and we're getting our own private guide because. We bought separate tickets, and so the um, train company couldn't get a ticket for us, and so then they couldn't provide their guy that comes with the ticket in a group because everyone else on the train they purchased tickets for one pm, and we purchased our tickets for two. So the mistake caused us to get a free private tour. <laughs> Pretty good mistake. My point is that stone. You see it? Can you see that stone? Yep. See. What happens if you don't see that mountain? It's cloudy. You don't need to see it because you have it here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right? it's a replica. It's the shape yeah. of the mountain. Yeah. Right? And it's not in only this place. You're going to see in a lot of places. Right? After our tour of Machu Picchu, we had high tea at the Belmont Sanctuary Hotel, which was included with a train ticket. We're at the Belmont Hotel and are here for high tea. It came with our train ticket, and this is, uh, I think, a lemonade and flour mixture. It's pretty refreshing. And this is tea from the coca leaf. It's supposed to help you with the altitude. I think it's the same leaf that they make cocaine out of, but um, cocaine is processed differently than um, the natural form. This is without any processing, so um, it, it's very mild and it doesn't. Um, have any effect except for helping you with the altitude. We're actually lower than Cusco. Um, we're about a thousand meters lower, so it actually was easier to manage today. And um, this is our our high tea tray. Um, so Chris, any any first thoughts? I think Machu Picchu was amazing. The landscape was absolutely just, just breathtaking. And to see just the formations of everything and hear the stories from our guide was was really good. And uh, I'm really glad it worked out as, as it did. The weather was perfect. I think the rain is starting to come in now. The clouds are coming in, so visibility is not going to be as nice. But I'm um, really super excited about this trip today. I'm glad we, we made it happen today. It poured while we were getting from the train to the bus. And our, our, our train ticket provides... Um, a bus as well and we were afraid that when we got to Machu Picchu it was just gonna pour the whole time uh, but it was 70 degrees and sunny I actually was a little too warm in a sweater I had to take off my waterproof jacket and then it drizzled a very little bit at the end only so much so that a rainbow could come out above the ruins so that was really nice and because you stayed until the end, here is your bonus. Let's compare Inca Rail to Peru Rail. You can catch Inca Rail from the center of the market in Aguas Calientes. You must wear a face shield and mask during COVID. Tickets for their standard coach cost from $31 to $76 one way depending on the time slot. Some tickets only provide the train to Alontaytambo, and from there a bus is provided that drops you in the center of Cusco close to the Plaza de Armas. Other tickets that provide the train all the way to Cusco are available and range in price from $38 to $83. Inca Rail has much more of a range of classes than Peru Rail and all of them are really nice. I would argue that their first class train is almost as nice as the Hiram Bingham at about half the price. Hiram Bingham train costs or it can cost up to $800 one way per person depending on the time of year and if you don't get a discount or a deal. 
Inga Rail also just debuted their Voyager Premium Lounge, which looks beautiful. The round trip Voyager Premium Lounge from Cusco to Machu Picchu costs $62 one way per person. The first class ticket on Inca Rail can cost up to $400 round trip per person during the high season. It's about half the price of Hiram Bingham. Be careful because some first class trains don't actually have an observatory lounge. Also, make sure the tickets for the bus to the Citadel are included. Read the fine print. Inca Rail has much fewer tickets available for their first class train because it's only available once per day. So you don't have a choice as to what time slot you select. The private parlor car is an entire Inca Rail train car just for you and your closest friends, but at least from Olantai Tambo, making the train ride only 90 minutes and costs $10,000 round trip or $6,000 one way. This is the only train to Machu Picchu that's more expensive than the Hiram Bingham. Please be aware that some trains have suspended food service due to COVID-19. Check before you purchase tickets. Inca Rail takes Amex, Peru Rail doesn't. Links in the description for how to buy tickets. Check out this video to learn how to complete the Peru Health Affidavit. You'll have to do that before you go. And check out this video to learn where to stay in Peru. If you enjoy these videos and or find them informative, please like and subscribe or buy us a coffee. See you in the next one.